dude? Happy seven months standing up and stuff. Happy seven months. He's gonna he's gonna beat the couch. He's gonna beat the couch. Happy seven months. Happy seven months. Happy seven months. What's up, dude? <laughs> What's wrong with your fingers? Happy, happy seven months. Happy seven months. <laughs> well, that was silly. <laughs> well, that was silly. Huh? Ew, drool. Where do I get mother? We are Team Yancey. And this is our life. It all started on Friday, April 26, 2013, when we said I do. And then two months later, some would say we didn't waste any time as we found out we were expecting our first child. Our family is very close. You have Poppy, that's my dad. And then you have my mom, she goes by Gigi. Then you have my little brother. He goes by Uncle VJ. Next is my big sister, and she goes by TT. But here you have my beautiful wife, Keisha. And then what would any story be without this handsome fella? <laughs> That's me, and my name is Nas. Most importantly, the newest Team Yancey member, our son, Logan. He's really the star of the show. Welcome to the family. So, we're here at our favorite Saturday night hangout spot. What's up, Keisha? Um, <laughs> only thing that's different is that instead of being here at 9 o'clock in the morning, we're here at 9 o'clock in the evening. Late night hookup. <laughs> Late night, getting some waffles and some bacon, some eggs, and some hash browns. So, clearly this was nasty. Why power your meal? It was delicious, and yours was too, so why your plate is clean. Yo, what team do you play for? <laughs> I play for your team, dear. I'm just keeping it real. Whatever. And I would eat my fruit if you weren't so busy eating it for me. Say, can I get it? Mm, great. Mm. Lies, you lies. Ugh. You lost your mind. You, <laughs> you lost your mind. Grapes are one thing. Don't mess with my pineapples. He lost his mind. You won't get it when you're home. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I won't get it how exactly? Son. Son. Logan. Look at daddy. Son. Look at daddy. See daddy phone? What's up? What's up, dude? Mm. Your mother. <laughs> Your mother. Looking like poetic justice. Like your first name is poetic and your last name is justice. <laughs> but I'm cute though. That's cute. Mm. That's cute. That is poetic. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> So why do you have braids? Because I'm getting ready to start my workout regimen to get ready for the cruise and black girl problems. You know, we can't sweat with our hair out, so. Why is that? Because it'll get poofy and messed up. How come white girls can do that and y'all can't? Because their hair doesn't get poofy and messed up. <laughs> so why is everything going to be about race all the time? Because it is. That's just, hey, ex God. I would like to know why my hair is like that too. Okay. Would you Na rather have your hair like white girl hair? Hashtag natural hair problems. Hmm? Would you rather have white girl hair? No, I like my hair. When someone else does it. So, did the lady from Africa sneeze when you? No. I would have ran out. <laughs> Preparing and 
we're not prepared. So you have to be prepared because every situation has an individual area. So we're out of church. Glory. Now if I can get a now if I can just get a sanctified bacon sandwich, I'll be good. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Bye sister. Bye sister. Holla. Brother. Holla. Alright, bacon. What we eating that? What we eat? I don't know. Panera? Panera? Yeah. Alright. They bacon be raggedy though. It does, but I'll take it. Uh, you know, you, you can see. Ah! Don't do that. <laughs> oh, you done scared the baby. baby. You done scared the baby, Keisha. Come on, Poetic Justice. Keep those uh -huh. hands on the wheel. What you think this is? It's all right, son. Mommy did it. Who, son? My son. Get out the car. <laughs> it's okay, son. Mommy did it. She won't do it no more. She won't do it no more. Oh, we passing the Hess station. I think I'm gonna buy my Hess truck and get that started. Cause my dad used to do that with me back in the day before he stopped. Sell them there? I don't know if they sell them at this the Hess place. I'm not sure they do because a lot of people don't have internet, you know. But um, in the back in the day, I'm sure there wasn't the internet when they first started coming out. So, and it's like the 50th anniversary or something. So. Yeah, I think we do that. Let's start that little tradition. So he'll be into trucks. He said what? I said so he'll be into trucks. No, it's not necessarily gonna be into trucks. It's just about a little collector's item. Cause I definitely wasn't in the trucks, but I look forward to one every Christmas. <laughs> so. It's like your little boy is into something. Trains, trucks, planes. And I like trains. I wanted to be a subway driver until I realized I didn't make any money. <laughs> And I realized all I did was press a button. I thought they actually did more than just doors open and doors closing. Well, I know they didn't stare since it's on the track. I just thought it was a little bit more complicated than push start. <laughs> so, they stand there and monitor what's going on. I guess. What you got, wife? This is coffee and a Thai chicken flatbread. She's so commercial. It's coffee. It's supposed to be reality. She's going to be reacting. I'm loading up on carbs. And some red drink. Logan, what you over here eating? Yeah, it's in. Just drool. Ah! <laughs> you can see yourself. Look. <laughs> what do you get from here and why do you get it? Um, recently they just introduced flatbreads and I've tried all of them. And out of all of them, the Thai chicken flatbread is my favorite. So I've just recently, recently started getting that. They took my other thing off the menu. Um, but occasionally I do get what you get, which is the triple play chicken panini. Which is delicious. And of course, you know our favorite black bean cheddar soup. But it's a little hot right now for that. And my husband, why do you um, get what you get from Panera Bread? We him. Just pay. I get what I get because it's good. And I'm like, some people I know, I don't experiment. I like what I like and I get what I like. I don't need a, you know, Thai chicken looking. It's too much color as a sandwich for me. See Again. all that sun out there? This is a shade free zone, okay? How long is that you work with? There's no shade in this building right now. I'm just saying, <laughs> my wife, you order the most non-black thing in the menu. That most non black. But guess what? It's all good. You like it? And I love it because guess what? I'm loading up on carbs, butter. Because food is what? Food be gooder than a mug. Hey. The boy learning how to watch the Eagles game with Sunday Night Football. Can you say go Eagles? Go Eagles? You gonna say go Eagles? Go Eagles? <laughs> you gonna say go Eagles? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's go Eagles. <laughs> Look who's holding his own bottle. You're holding it kind of funny, but. <laughs> Look who's holding his own bottle. Look who's holding his own bottle. <laughs> what kind of silly position. <laughs>
We could go in this own bottle. So, we're here at the pediatrician. Logan's here for uh, another checkup, and the doctors just pissed me off because every time he comes here, they're trying to inject him with more crap. And me being a person that doesn't really care about like medicines and stuff like that, it pisses me off. Because every time he comes here, oh, he has to get four shots. Oh, use the flu seeds. Let's get a flu shot. So I'm against it, but I'm also not trying to have my child set up. So, unfortunately, he will be getting four or three shots today. They're stupid, but he's going to take it like a champ. Yes, he is. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it still pisses me off greatly. The boy just got his shots. Did really good. Cried for maybe 0. 0.3 of a second. <laughs> no, he's drinking apple just because he's fat. The doctor said he had a big head, but it's proportionate to his big body for his age. So he has a big head for his age, but he also has a big body for his age. So he might go on a baby diet. He might not even know it. And then she said, we all need to get flu shots. And I'm only because it's my son I'm considering because I hate everything that has to do with vaccines because I think they're stupid. The point of, well, let's give you the virus so that your body won't get the virus. That makes the most sense to doctor people. I mean, it makes sense in general, but I think it's still stupid. He did great. I'm proud of him. He took it like a G. I'm here walking down Center City, Philadelphia. Um, looking pretty dapper because I'm getting ready to go on this serious interview for this new position. Um, I feel like it's a good feeling. I don't, I'm not stressed, I'm not worried about it. But y'all, just pray for me. By the time y'all see this, it'll probably be confirmed or not, but just pray for me. applying for this new position. Um, if I get it, it's going to be uh, pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing. So, hopefully I get it. I'm not nervous. Um, I just want to make sure that I leave them with a good impression. So, I'm gonna do what I do. So, I just got out of the interview. It was long as crap. Um, I think I did good. I think I did great. Um, it was long. And they were grilling, they grilled the mess out of me. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, there's three interviewers, two of whom, one of whom was really digging everything I was saying. The other one was kind of digging what I was saying. The other one, she gave no facial expression at all. I was like, oh God. Um, but I'm excited, I think, I think I did good. I think I did well, I think, you know, you, your boy will get the position and I'm looking forward to getting the phone call. So we'll see.